I'm Adam Opperman, product manager here at Cell Industries, and today we're going to introduce the operation of our new small tire crane remote. So that remote is for the 3200 crane, the 4500, or the 6000 tire service crane. The remote has a lot of new features. It's got a completely new redesigned, more durable housing, more ergonomic pistol grip, a new trigger. It also has an anodized aluminum trigger guard. It has the uh, stop button move to the bottom for easier access. It has four rechargeable batteries in the grip of the handle, which can be accessed with an Allen wrench there. Again, only rechargeable batteries can be used on this remote. It has a magnet housed in a rubber coating, so it's integrated into it. So you can still stick it wherever you want, but it's not gonna mar up the paint on anything. It also has easy to access toggles, so you can operate with one hand if you want, or two hand operation. And then it has a battery indicator light to let you know when it's charging. Um, when it, the battery is low, we have status indicator light that also provides other feedback. Another new feature is an updated tether cord. What that can do is if you're in an area that you need a wired connection to run the remote, you can use that. It can also be used to uh, charge the remote while operating too if you get in a situation where the batteries are low. In the cab, you're gonna have a docking station that looks like this. It's got two connector pins that match the back of the remote. When you put it in there, it locks into place. And not only does that provide a nice, safe, secure location for the remote in the cab to keep it safe, but it also charges the remote as well. For operation of the new remote, to get going, all you gotta do is pop up the red stop button on the bottom, and then hit any toggle switch, and the status indicator light will start flashing green. That means you're operational. Again, assuming that you have your truck set up, stabilizers down, PTO engaged, parking brakes, etc. One thing that's important when operating the remote is that you always pop out the stop button first, and then hit a toggle. When you do that, your status indicator will flash green, let you know that it's ready to go. If you were to do it in a different order, and you were to hold down the trigger, and then hit a toggle, it's gonna to go red, and you're not gonna be able to use it. That's the safety mechanism to ensure that the crane's not operating unintentionally. If that happens, all you gotta do is just do it in the right order, and it'll go back to normal crane operation. The way this works is the trigger, the more that I squeeze it in, the faster the operation will go of the crane function, and the less that I squeeze it, the slower the operation. You can run multiple functions at once, and again, use the same setup that we had with our uh, pass remote. You have your um, main cylinder up, down. You have your secondary. Your extension. And then your crane rotation. When you're done, press on the stop button and it turns off the remote. One last feature that I want to mention is that um, with the normal operation, again, assuming you were, had it on and you were running, is after three minutes, this will go to sleep to protect the battery and keep it from draining it. If that happens, all you have to do is just hit any toggle switch and it'll wake up. Again, when done, you push on the stop button and you're good to go. For detailed operation instructions, you can find our manual on our website at cylinders.com. It's listed under our 3200, 4500, or 6000 tire service cranes. 